So GameMaker Studios version 2.31 really introduced a massive change, and that is structs and arrays are now JSON compatible. Hello everyone, my name is Sam Spade, and this is technically part of the JSON for GameMaker Studio 2.31 tutorial series. But in this last very short tutorial, I want to answer the question of which JSON format should you use? Or to put it another way, now that you can use either maps and lists or structs and arrays, which one should you default to? And I think the answer is pretty clear. You should use the struct and array version for anything new. I'll go through why in just a moment, but I think that when you look at all the pros and cons, struct and arrays are the clear winner. In fact, they're so much better than maps and lists that I think that you should consider converting any map and list JSON data structures that you have over to structs and arrays. This generally is not that much work. I've done it for a few smaller projects, and in most cases, it's simply changing a few function names and changing the accessors. Replacing map accessors with struct accessors and replacing list accessors with array accessors or no accessor at all in most cases. So why do I say this or how did I come to this conclusion? Well, first for structs and arrays, you no longer have to worry about memory leaks, at least as long as you keep the garbage collector on, which you probably should. Second, and this is a big one for me actually, structs and arrays are actual data types. You no longer have to go through, as you did with maps and lists, and tell GameMaker what your data types are. GameMaker already knows that structs and arrays are structs and arrays, and you can check those data types with is struct and is array. Now, 2.31 did add a couple functions for maps and lists that are useful and do help with this a little bit, but it's still more work. Next, for structs and arrays, the top level can be an array. With maps and lists, the top level has to be a map. And this is actually a really nice feature. In fact, if you go look for older YouTube tutorials on this, you'll see people wrapping list structures in a map because you had to, even though it would have made more sense for the top level to be a list. With structs and arrays, the top level can be an array and that'll be just fine. And finally, you get all of these benefits without any real loss in functionality. In 2.31, they added struct accessors and the ability to remove variables from structs and a bunch of array functions. This means that now structs and arrays can do basically everything that lists and maps can do. Now that said, maps and lists still work. In fact, as I noted, they added a couple additional functions to make them work a little bit better. So you don't have to change anything if you don't want to. I can also see the possibility that maps and lists might be more efficient. I don't know this, this is pure speculation. But at least when 2.3 first came out, structs were not the most efficient data type out there. On top of that, using invalid variable names makes a little bit more sense with maps. For example, having spaces in the variables. You can do this with structs just fine now as of 2.31, but if you ever do it with a struct, you won't be able to use the dot accessor. So there are some differences between these two and there may still be a couple limited use cases for maps and lists, but in general, I can't see a reason not to just use structs and arrays going forward and even convert old data structures that use maps and lists over to structs and arrays. But if you'd like to form your own opinions about this subject, I'd recommend watching the rest of this tutorial series if you haven't already and learning about some of the new array and struct features that got added in 2.31. And of course, if I've missed anything or you disagree, let me know down below.